A number of early Greek philosophers active before and during the time of Socrates are collectively known as the pre-Socratics. Their inquiries spanned the workings of the natural world as well as human society, ethics, and religion, seeking explanations based on natural principles rather than the actions of supernatural gods. They introduced to the West the notion of the world as a cosmos, an ordered arrangement that could be understood via rational inquiry. In classical antiquity, the pre Socratic philosophers were called physiologois, Greek, physiologois in English, physical or natural philosophers. Aristotle was the first to make a clear distinction between these physiologois or physikoi, physicists, after physis, nature, who sought natural explanations for phenomena, and the earlier theologoi, theologians, or mythologoi, storytellers and bards, who attributed these phenomena to various gods. Diogenes Laertius divides the physiologois into two groups: Ionian, led by Anaximander, and the Italiote, led by Pythagoras. Overview Hermann Diels popularized the term «pre-Socratic» in Die Fragmente der Vorsokratiker the fragments of the pre-Socratics in 1903. However, the term «pre-Socratic» was in use as early as George Grote's Plato and the other companions of Socrates in 1865. Eduard Zeller was also important in dividing thought before and after Socrates. Major analyses of pre-Socratic thought have been made by Gregory Vlastos, Jonathan Barnes, and Friedrich Nietzsche in his philosophy in the tragic age of the Greeks. It may sometimes be difficult to determine the actual line of argument some pre-Socratics used in supporting their particular views. While most of them produced significant texts, none of the texts has survived in complete form. All that is available are quotations by later philosophers often biased, and historians, and the occasional textual fragment. The pre-Socratic philosophers rejected traditional mythological explanations of the phenomena they saw around them in favor of more rational explanations. These philosophers asked questions about the essence of things. From where does everything come? From what is everything created? How do we explain the plurality of things found in nature? How might we describe nature mathematically? Others concentrated on defining problems and paradoxes that became the basis for later mathematical, scientific, and philosophic study. Later philosophers rejected many of the answers the early Greek philosophers provided, but continued to place importance on their questions. Furthermore, the cosmologies proposed by them have been updated by later developments in science. Topic: History. Coming from the eastern or western fringes of the Greek world, the pre-Socratics were the forerunners of what became Western philosophy and natural philosophy, which later developed into the natural sciences such as physics, chemistry, geology, and astronomy. Their efforts were directed to the investigation of the ultimate basis and essential nature of the external world. They sought the material principle of things, and the method of their origin and disappearance. As the first philosophers, they emphasized the rational unity of things and rejected supernatural explanations, instead seeking natural principles at work in the world and human society. The pre-Socratics saw the world as a cosmos, an ordered arrangement that could be understood via rational inquiry. Pre-Socratic thinkers present a discourse concerned with key areas of philosophical inquiry such as being, the primary stuff of the universe, the structure and function of the human soul, and the underlying principles governing perceptible phenomena, human knowledge and morality. Topic. Writings Only fragments of the original writings of the pre-Socratics survive many entitled peri Physios, or On Nature, a title probably attributed later by other authors. The knowledge we have of them derives from accounts, known as doxography, of later philosophical writers especially Aristotle, Plutarch, Diogenes Laertius, Stobius and Simplicius, and some early theologians especially Clement of Alexandria and Hippolytus of Rome. However, the translation of peri physios as on nature may be misleading. The on normally gives the idea of an erudite dissertation, while peri may refer in fact to a circular approach and the traditional meanings of nature for us as opposition to culture, to supernatural, or as essence, substance, opposed to accident, etc. may be in contrast with the meaning of physios or physis 
for the Greeks referring to an originary source or process of emergence and development. Topic: <laughs> Milesian school. The first pre-Socratic philosophers were from Miletus on the western coast of Anatolia. Thales 624 BC is reputedly the father of Greek philosophy, he declared water to be the basis of all things. Next came Anaximander 610 BC, the first writer on philosophy. He assumed as the first principle an undefined, unlimited substance without qualities apiron, out of which the primary opposites, hot and cold, moist and dry, became differentiated. His younger contemporary, Anaximenes (585–525 BC), took for his principal air, conceiving it as modified by thickening and thinning into fire, wind, clouds, water, and earth. Topic: <laughs> Pythagoreanism. The practical side of philosophy was introduced by Pythagoras of Samos (582–496 BC). Regarding the world as perfect harmony, dependent on number, he aimed at inducing humankind likewise to lead a harmonious life. His doctrine was adopted and extended by a large following of Pythagoreans who gathered at his school in South Italy in the town of Croton. His followers included Philolaus (470–380 BC), Alcmaeon of Croton, and Archytas (428–347 BC). Topic: Ephesian school. Heraclitus of Ephesus on the western coast of Anatolia in modern Turkey 535 BC posited that all things in nature are in a state of perpetual flux, connected by logical structure or pattern, which he termed logos. To Heraclitus, fire, one of the four classical elements, motivates and substantiates this eternal pattern. From fire all things originate, and return to it again in a process of eternal cycles. Topic. Ella Attic School The Ella Attic School, called after the town of Elia modern name Velia in southern Italy, emphasized the doctrine of the One. Xenophanes of Colophon declared God to be the eternal unity, permeating the universe, and governing it by his thought. Parmenides of Elia (510–440 BC) affirmed the one unchanging existence to be alone true and capable of being conceived, and multitude and change to be an appearance without reality. This doctrine was defended by his younger countryman Zeno of Elia (490–430 BC) in a polemic against the common opinion which sees in things multitude, becoming, and change. Zeno propounded a number of celebrated paradoxes, much debated by later philosophers, which try to show that supposing that there is any change or multiplicity leads to contradictions. Melissus of Samos born c. 470 BC was another eminent member of this school. <laughs> Pluralist school Empedocles of Agrigentum (490–430 BC) was from the ancient Greek city of Acragas, Acragas Agrigentum in Latin, modern Agrigento, in Sicily. He appears to have been partly in agreement with the Eleatic school, partly in opposition to it. On the one hand, he maintained the unchangeable nature of substance; on the other, he supposes a plurality of such substances, i.e., four classical elements: earth, water, air, and fire. Of these the world is built up, by the agency of two ideal motive forces, love is the cause of union, strife is the cause of separation. Anaxagoras of Clazomenae 500-428 BC in Asia Minor also maintained the existence of an ordering principle as well as a material substance, and while regarding the latter as an infinite multitude of imperishable primary elements, he conceived divine reason or mind as ordering them. He referred all generation and disappearance to mixture and resolution respectively. To him belongs the credit of first establishing philosophy at Athens. <laughs> Atomist school The first explicitly materialistic system was formed by Leucippus 5th century BC and his pupil Democritus of Abdera 460 BC from Thrace. 
This was the doctrine of atoms, small primary bodies infinite in number, indivisible and imperishable, qualitatively similar, but distinguished by their shapes. Moving eternally through the infinite void, they collide and unite, thus generating objects which differ in accordance with the varieties, in number, size, shape, and arrangement, of the atoms which compose them. Others The last of the pre-Socratic natural philosophers was Diogenes of Apollonia from Thrace born c. 460 BC. He was an eclectic philosopher who adopted many principles of the Milesian school, especially the single material principle, which he identified as air. He explained natural processes in reference to the rarefactions and condensations of this primary substance. He also adopted Anaxagoras' cosmic thought. Topic. Sophists The sophists held that all thought rests solely on the apprehensions of the senses and on subjective impression, and that therefore we have no other standards of action than convention for the individual. Specializing in rhetoric, the sophists were more professional educators than philosophers. They flourished as a result of a special need at that time for Greek education. Prominent sophists include Protagoras (490–420 BC) from Abdera in Thrace, Gorgias (487–376 BC) from Lentini in Sicily, Hippias (485–415 BC) from Elis in the Peloponnesos, Prodicus (465–390 BC) from the island of Ceos, and Thrasymachus (459–400 BC) from Chalcedon on the Bosphorus. Other early Greek philosophers This list includes several men, particularly the seven sages, who appear to have been practical politicians and sources of epigrammatic wisdom, rather than speculative thinkers or philosophers in the modern sense. Seven sages of Greece Zolan c. 594 BC Chilon of Sparta c. 560 BC Thales c. 585 BC Bias of Preen, c. 570 BC. Cleobulus of Rhodes, c. 600 BC. Pittacus of Mytilene, c. 600 BC. Periander, 625 to 585 BC. Aristeus of Proconesus, 7th century BC. Pharisides of Syros, c. 540 BC. Anacarsis, c. 590 BC. Topic. Legacy The pre-Socratic method of critical reasoning deployed in the examination of the natural world was applied by Socrates to an examination of the human individual and his social institutions. Hegel deeply studied the pre-Socratics, crediting the philosopher Parmenides with introducing the concepts of being and non-being or nothing. Karl Marx's doctoral thesis the difference between the Democritian and Epicurean philosophy of nature evaluates the thought of the pre Socratic philosopher Democritus, one of the founders of atomic theory. Within the Marxist philosophical tradition, the pre Socratics are recognized as the first materialists. Nietzsche described the pre Socratics as the tyrants of the spirit and says of Socrates that the hitherto so wonderfully regular, although certainly too rapid, development of the philosophical science was destroyed in one night. Oswald Spengler's doctoral thesis, The Metaphysical Idea of Heraclitus Philosophy, evaluates the thought of the pre Socratic philosopher Heraclitus, dubbed the obscure. Karl Popper, one of the 20th century's most influential philosophers of science, placed great importance on the critical tradition embodied in the development of pre-Socratic thought, the analysis of which contributed to his own epistemological theories. His well-known essay on the subject, Back to the Pre-Socratics, can be found in the anthology of his essays Conjectures and Refutations, The Growth of Scientific Knowledge, 2nd edition. Routledge Publishing, 2002. Topic Notes Topic References Topic Further reading Adrados, Francisco R. nineteen ninety four. 
Human vocabulary and naturalist vocabulary in the Presocratics. Glotta 72.1-4, 182-195. Cornford, F. M. 1991. From Religion to Philosophy, A Study in the Origins of Western Speculation. Princeton, N. J., Princeton Univ. Press. Graham, D. W. 2010. The Texts of Early Greek Philosophy, The Complete Fragments and Selected Testimonies of the Major Presocratics, 2 vols. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge Univ. Press. Franick, Uri, 2013. Presocratic Philosophy and the Origins of Religion. Greco-Latina Brunensia, 18.1, 57-74. Furley, D.J., and R. E. Allen, E.D.S. 1970. Studies in Presocratic Philosophy. Volume 1, The Beginnings of Philosophy. London, Routledge and Keegan Paul. Jaeger, W. 1947. The Theology of the Early Greek Philosophers. Oxford, Oxford Univ. Press. Lucht, James, 2011. Early Greek Thought, Before the Dawn. New York, Continuum Mansfield, J., and D. T. Runia, 2010. Etiana, The Method and Intellectual Context of a Doxographer. Volume 3, Studies in the Doxographical Traditions of Ancient Philosophy. Leiden, The Netherlands, and New York, Brill. McKerahan, R. D. 2011. Philosophy Before Socrates. Indianapolis, Indiana, Hackett. Robb, K., ed. 1983. Language and Thought in Early Greek Philosophy. La Salle, Il, Hegeler Institute. Stokes, M. 1971. One and Many in Presocratic Philosophy. Washington, D.C., Center for Hellenic Studies. Vlastos, G. 1995. Studies in Greek Philosophy. Volume 1, The Presocratics. Edited by D. W. Graham. Princeton, N.J., Princeton Univ. Press. Topic external links Collections containing articles on Presocratic philosophy Presocratic philosophy at Philpapers Presocratic philosophy at the Indiana Philosophy Ontology Project Kurd, Patricia. Presocratic philosophy. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Graham, Jacob N. Presocratic philosophy. Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Yanis Stamatelos, Presocratic Philosophy Alain Sornia, in French Philosophy Sauvage Chronology and Geographical Origins, The Ionian Origins of Greek Philosophy video.